break even. By the end of this video, you should be able to calculate break even using the formula. This video forms part of a series of videos on the topic of break even. Let's start by looking at what break even actually is. Break even is a point where a business is making no profit or loss. Break even is a calculation that tells you how many units you have to sell. You need to remember that. That's one of the key areas and the key places where people go wrong with this formula. It's all about how many items you have to sell. It can also be used to tell you the revenue figure, which I will cover later in this video. Break even gives you an average figure. This is potentially one of your weaknesses as you're calculating this per item and their items may have a wide price range. So think in a shop, the break even point would be for every item you sell. So it would be for, for tea bags, for coffee, for milk, for sugar. You would have to work it out for every single item. If you're in a car dealership, for example, selling one expensive car may skew those figures if you are having a break even point based on average. And lastly, break even is useful to know because you can set sales targets and potential profit targets. There's one of your potential advantages of break even. Now let's drill down into more detail about the break even formula. What you'll see here is that the break even formula is typically expressed as fixed cost divided by the selling price per unit minus a variable price per unit. Notice how that is in brackets. That means you have to calculate the bottom section first. Now the lower section of that formula is typically called the contribution and that's why you may see the formula expressed like that, the fixed cost divided by the contribution. What is meant by that term contribution? Well it's quite simple really. It's telling you effectively the gross profit of each item, how much is it contributing towards those fixed costs. So when you take your selling price away from your variable costs and you work out the profit you make on each item, how much is that contributing towards those fixed costs? How many of those items have you got to sell to cover those fixed costs that you've got? That's what the contribution is all about. Both of those formulas are correct and you may see both of those expressed. However, let's look at an example. See if you can calculate this and using that formula that I've just talked about. Beach Records Shop has the following information. You've got fixed cost of £20,000, variable cost of £4 and a selling price per record of £6. And you need to calculate the break-even point for B's business. You might want to pause the video now while you see if you can work it out. And then unpause it as I go through the answer with you. So what you should have calculated? You should have worked it out as shown on the screen on the right hand side. Now what you should notice is that I have used the formula and I've written it out. That's one of the key skills that you need to do in your exams. Always show your working. There will be marks potentially if you go wrong here as well. Notice I've written out the formula. So fixed cost divided by the selling price minus the variable cost in brackets. The next line I've put my numbers in. 20,000 divided by the 6 minus the 4. I've then in my next line solved my 6 take away 4 which gives me 2. So 20,000 divided by 2 which means 10,000 units. So, B needs to sell 10,000 records to break even. Now you've got to use that figure and decide whether that's a good figure or a bad figure. And you may want to use previous data or use common sense to work that out. Does selling 10,000 records sound realistic in a record shop for a year? Probably yes. I think maybe a little on the high side. But again, that's just using my own hunch and decision making there. Right. Over to you to have a go and see if you can do it yourself. So B's got a bookshop. And B has given you the following information. Fixed cost of £50,000. The variable cost is £2. And the selling price is £6 for each book. Calculate the break-even point for the business. Again, pause the video now and complete the activity. And then unpause when I explain the answer. So what you should have calculated is the answer shown on the right hand side of the screen. Again, write out your formula, your fixed cost divided by your selling price minus variable costs. Substitute your numbers, that's your £50,000 fixed cost, divided by your six, take away your two, and you're left with four. 50,000 divided by four gives you 12,500 units. In this case, B needs to sell 12,500 books to break even. Again, 
what does that figure mean? Well, you need to look at past evidence and data. Is it realistic for a bookshop to sell 12,500 books? Again, probably. However, I've not got any expert knowledge on that. Again, could be a little on the high side if it's a small business. It doesn't stop there, though. Potentially, I could develop that question and ask you to work out the break-even point would be in terms of revenue. So how much revenue will B need to achieve to break even? Now, what you might want to do now is pause the video now and see if you can answer that question. How would we calculate that? Well, hopefully what you've done is you've used your break-even point of 12,500 books and you know that each book sells at £6. So all you've got to do is multiply the number of books to break even by the selling price of each book and that will tell you that £75,000 would be the sales revenue that B has to achieve to break even. At that point there, you've been able to calculate break even and even use it to also calculate revenue. This is the end of the first video. You may now want to check out some of the other videos that I produced on break even, which develop this topic and go to more detail on some of the different concepts and challenges that you may face. Thanks for checking out the B Business B YouTube channel. Don't forget to click the subscribe button down below to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter. It's at B Business B. Also, give the Facebook page a like. It's facebook.com forward slash B Business B. And lastly, don't forget to check out the online Hiver activities found on bbusinessb.co.uk full of quizzes, activities and resources. And remember, until next time, keep buzzing.